On this sad but celebratory day, as we reflect upon the life and times of our brother, our mentor, our leader, Congressman John Conyers, father of our 20th century reparations movement, we reflect upon the lessons of our history. And these lessons are in no way mysteries. There are fundamental truths that have always guided us through the struggle for justice for our people. And that fundamental truth is that our ancestors have always sent and will continue to send us great leaders, men and women who would mobilize our organizations, help us to focus around the fundamental issues of repertory justice, and to present their leadership with passion and with resilience, and fundamentally to show that they will not give up, they will not be deterred until our victory is assured. John Conyers was a brother, sent forward to lead this fight for us with dedication and with durability. He was a great leader. He was a mentor to all of us. And he gave this regional, international, repertory justice movement, he gave it focus and at the same time, he gave it momentum. At the level of the American national state, he gave it legitimacy among all those people who have been committed to civil rights, to human rights, and to the dignity of the human person. Critically, what he said to all of us, I will not give up until the work is done. In the Caribbean, he has been a mentor to all of us who have participated and are involved in this struggle for repertory justice. He has inspired us. John was my friend. He looked out for me. He spoke to me. He embraced me. My own contribution to this movement has been inspired by the persistence of his courage and of his dedication. We shall miss him, but we shall be empowered by the lessons of his journey. We shall be emboldened by the courage with which he led our movement. And in the Caribbean, this is how we would reply to the notion of his material transition. We would say, comrade, brother, return home. Meet your ancestors, but we'll turn and come again. <laughs>